Tennis is really challenging because you're on the road 30 weeks, maybe more out of the year, and I think you can get very drained. Sometimes it can be depressing, it can be overwhelming. There's so many things that come along with it. Obviously with every other sport is also the same, but I think being alone and kind of like having a team, it can get to a point where it is overwhelming. So I think working on that side of the game can be very helpful just because sometimes you need that extra support, I would say. So I think, yeah, like honing in on that and making sure that you're mentally fit. Well, I think for me personally, I need to be happy in order to compete and play. And I think that, like I said, being overwhelmed or having a lot of things going on, traveling a lot, um, I've had to learn how to prioritize my life and my job so that mentally I'm able to be focused only on my tennis when I'm on the court. And when I'm away from the court, I can do other things, but definitely learning how to cocoon my life and my tennis life, if that makes sense. Well, I think if you feel good, you look good, you look good, you play good, you play good, they pay good. So, yeah. That's like a Deion Sanders quote or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a little bit longer than that, but you get my point.